Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel on this uh, frosty morning. It's been a bit dark and overcast the last week, but uh, certainly a bit fresher today. I've seen some comments on Twitter saying looking forward to spring drilling next week. I don't think we'll be quite in that position for one reason, I haven't quite got my seed sorted out yet. But I thought I'd just uh, have a word about this field behind me. So this is the field that we put on special measures because we've got problems with establishment. It's just failed the last few years, primarily around this woodland here. I think a lot of deer come out and that creates a bit of pressure. But also, I think the clay content is a little bit higher. And as a result, if you graze a sheep on it for too long, it does tend to pack down. You get a bit more compaction. This is a mustard cover crop, it's in a conventional system, just straight mustard. So we've been through with the clay, and then as you can see it's kind of, it has ridged it a little bit, but it's left it quite friable on the surface, even in the frost. You know, it's quite, it, it's quite, it falls to bits, it's quite nice. Um, but also this has had the coating of arb waste and there was a lot of comments at the time that, that the woody chunks were too big I mean that would be a bigger size of things but these big chunks you can find them everywhere part of the reason for doing that was firstly it improves fungal activity if you've got more woody matter but also the fact that it, I'm concerned about slumping with this field I want to give it big lumps of carbon to try and you know give it a bit more body a bit more mass try and stop that slumping that we were seeing it's not a very big field but uh, like many of the most problematic fields it's uh, very close to the main house and uh, it's a uh, within the landlord's uh, view all the time so I want to crack on and get get it sorted out so this year it hasn't been grazed with sheep unlike the rest of the cover crops but uh, just been left and it's been left open after that work with the claydon so it'll be interesting to check it through this year is a material difference with this field compared to the others so something to look forward to now we're just going to carry on our walk round we'll have a look at some winter x days see how that's getting on and then the sheep grazed mustard and you'll see a difference between the friable surface here and the, and the packed down surface after the sheep have grazed it. So, let's go on. Okay, so a little further on and we're here in a field of wheat. So I just want to have a show you how it's getting on. So, we're in the bottom of the valley. It drops down quite significantly down here and then up on the other side. And this bit here must have a little bit more nutrition as it washes it down the hillside um, so and the ground's a little bit heavier and actually I'm quite pleased with how clean it is it's not too much black grass between the rows so that's an encouraging sign and as you can see it's spreading out nicely however there are these big plants occasional black grass plants and what worries me is that they're so strong what are we going to do with them and another one here the field is actually walking really well so i think we really should be thinking about cracking on with spring planting soon the problem with this chalky ground i find that it, it uh, it warms up very slowly so if you get a secondary bout of cold weather in the spring it can really knock it it wants to be very much on an improving trend of warmth uh, this needs to be balanced with the fact that it it dries out really quickly so that you tend to if you don't get a good spring rain it can also really knock its uh, establishment so bit of a balancing act but I think we'll get our seed cleaned next week and then we'll push on uh, we're getting it in the ground so uh, on to the uh, other bit of cover crop grazed by the sheep okay so this is some sheep grazed mustard here probably finished grazing it in November um, walking underfoot is very firm 
as you can see you've got the stalk residues on the top but actually underneath we've got a lot of black grass I would and if you have a look compare that to the previous field you can you can pull it apart but there's no it's less it's not as friable on the surface it's quite compacted I don't think it's it would it's nothing more than surface compaction but it's not as soft and um, as spongy as the ungrazed land I've probably made a mistake here there's too much black grass uh, so we really need to get this killed off straight away otherwise we find that come the spring it's secreting too too many allopathy chemicals and which will inhibit the establishment of the wheat so we really need to either kill this off or cultivate the surface light cultivation of the surface now I just pulled up one of these mustard plants and I was just really impressed by the root structure of this for once it's just a lot more uh, developed the roots is sometimes in the past I've seen it with just that tap root and nothing else whereas there's lots of lateral fibrous roots really makes a big difference and we're seeing uh, the tap root go a lot deeper now those of you will say what about that kink at the base doesn't that show that you've got surface compaction yes it does but this was just blown into the surface onto the surface through the stubble so it really is um, a very cheap way of establishment it wasn't cultivated in or anything so really pleased with those root structure so i hope you've enjoyed this week's video uh, just a short roundup hopefully i'll see some of you at the base conference this week so thank you very much for watching uh, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and click on the bells to get notification of when our next video goes live see you next time bye